all on my lane. You all on my lane. You ain't overlooked. So get out the way. I gave you the book. I gave you the game. The boy got a cook, yeah, yeah. The boy got a flame, yeah. Serving in the kitchen like you mean, no. Plenty bitchin', whipping different flavors like a bistro. Kick it, dip it, flip it, keep it hunting like a C no. Switch it, keep it pimping every single place that he go. I got it. Lathan got the flame, Lathan got the flame. Boy, you know the name, get up out the way. Lathan got the flame, Lathan got the flame. Stay up out the kitchen if you ain't the one that's whipping, huh? Hey, yo, Lathan, man, cook them boys up something real quick, man. What's going on YouTube and welcome back to my channel. Now today we got the most amazing slap your mama seafood pasta. So the first step we want to do is want to get some room temperature butter and go ahead and make our slap your mama butter. Now I know that sound crazy but it's slap your mama pasta so we got to start off with this slap your mama butter. So I'm going to get a whole stick of butter and I'm going to go in with about a tablespoon of slap your mama and I'm going to go in with a fourth of a teaspoon of some sashons. Now I'm doing the sashons for color and the slap your mama for flavor, but that's going to be our slap your mama butter. So remember that, that slap your mama butter. Then we're going to go in with about a good tablespoon of parsley. Now you can use fresh parsley for this, but for this recipe I use strictly dried parsley because I want a little of that flavor as well. Plus I want it to be able to hold up during the roasting and fresh parsley will kind of burn in the oven. So then we're gonna get our Scottish salmon and we're gonna dry that skin off, well, that salmon off. And then we're gonna go on with a little sprinkle of slap your mama. Like I said, just slap your mama pasta. So we're trying to get this in every part of the dish. And then we're gonna go on um, with our um, foil line baking sheet. And we're gonna go ahead and place our salmon on that foil line baking sheet. And then we're gonna go ahead and slather it with our slap your mama butter. Now, that slap your mama butter is so incredible. Like, make sure when you do this recipe first, let's go back. Let's make sure you're using unsalted sweet cream butter, first of all. If you use salted butter, it'll ruin the dish. So make sure you're using unsalted sweet cream butter. All right, so then we're gonna go ahead and slather all that slap your mama butter onto that salmon. And then we're gonna place it directly into a 400 degree oven for about 10 minutes or until the salmon is cooked through, but not overcooked. Then we're gonna go ahead with our lobster tails. And these are uh, five ounce tails. We're gonna go ahead and split it at the bottom and then split it at the top. Pull that lobster tail out while it's raw. And then we're gonna go ahead and cook that lobster tail. So you see me, uh, I score at the bottom. Now we're going through the top. You just wanna cut directly through that shell. You can use a knife for this, but it's easy if you use kitchen shears. So make sure you get your good pair of kitchen shears. And then we're gonna go ahead and pull that lobster directly out of that shell and it works best for fresh lobster if your lobster has been frozen um sometimes the the flesh can get stuck to the shell but if it's fresh it should pull right out so once you get that lobster pulled out we're going to go ahead and get that vein out of the middle you don't want that vein in there um, you know what's in that vein so make sure you discard that whole vein out of the middle and if you got pieces of shell on there just make sure you don't have any of that and then you're gonna set it aside and we're gonna work directly on our second lobster and we're gonna do it the exact same way we're gonna go ahead and cut the bottom and then we're gonna cut the top and then we're gonna pull that or extract that lobster meat out of that shell um now if you're doing lobster tails and you want it in the shell do not cut the bottom we'll just cut the top and then we'll pull that shell out and have it sitting on top maybe i should have showed you guys that first but I know we're gonna cook lobster again on this channel and I'll show you again uh, how to do that technique. But for this, we didn't want the shell at all. So we're just pulling the lobster out of the shell and deveining it and go ahead and sitting it aside um, cause it's ready to cook. But make sure you discard that shell, discard that vein, and there you have some beautiful, beautiful Atlantic Maine lobster tails. So go ahead and set that aside and we're gonna get the working on our shrimp. So our shrimp, these are 21 to 25 per pound, uh, and that's pieces per pound. And if you need to see a video how to deshell the shrimp, I'll show you a video. Um, I had some easy peel shrimp that I fried a while back, but um, those didn't have the vein inside, this one did. So I went ahead and shelled it, and I'll link the video and show you how to shell it. But um, this video here is just showing you how to devein it. So you cut the back, and then go ahead and pull that vein out. Same way like you did the lobster tails. You wanna make sure you alleviate all of that vein out of um, the shrimp. And once you get that vein out of that shrimp, we're gonna directly go on to the second one, and we're gonna do the exact same thing. So make sure you cut it, split, split it down the back, 
go ahead and get that vein out and set it aside and we're ready all right so we're going to go ahead and work on our butter fondue and this is what we're going to poach our lobster in so go ahead and get your tablespoon of water and then we're going to emulsify some uh, fresh butter into that water so um, make sure you get you some um, cold butter make sure that butter is extra cold because you can't emulsify with room temperature butter I uh, made that mistake at this wedding. I did this past year and it sucked uh, because I knew what I was doing, but I, I just let it slip my mind. So make sure that butter is cold, cold, cold. And then we're going to go ahead and emulsify that butter into that water and make this uh, wonderful butter fondue. And that's what we're going to poach our lobster in. Um, you could do clarified butter, but a butter fondue would just coat it very well. And then you still got that water solids in there. So it just makes it extra succulent in my opinion. Um, but once you get that butter fondue all made up, go ahead and kill that heat because you don't want it to break. And then you want to season it vigorously. And uh, look at that. That's that awesome butter fondue. And butter fondue, you can just keep incorporating butter into it uh, once you get it started. But I, I, did, I just got two lobster tails and then five ounces a piece. I didn't need that much. So I just did one stick of butter. And then go ahead and add some salt. Like I said, season it vigorously because this is what's going to season your lobster as well and kill that heat and then go ahead and place the lobster tails in there and put a lid on top and then let it steep um you don't need um heat because the residual heat from the butter fondue is going to cook your lobster you want it to cook it gentle because what you don't want to do is overcook your lobster and have a rubber band on your hand uh, you want this thing to be delicious so make sure you just submerge that uh, lobster into that butter fondue like i said it's hot enough uh, to cook that lobster place the cap on there and just set it to the side and just let it let it do its thing so um you see me just doing that for camera purposes but i'm gonna go ahead and place the lid on there and then i'm gonna push to the back of the stove oh um, man like i said that residual heat on that butter should cook that lobster oh, and, and if it don't finish it also remember um you're gonna put the lobster in warm pasta sauce so i mean you good and the rest of the butter or the rest i slap your mama butter that we used um for our salmon we're going to go ahead and toss our shrimp in there and just let it sit and once we're ready we're going to pop it into a saute pan and same technique with the lobster you don't want to overcook your shrimp so place it in there and then um let it go for about a minute then flip it you should have some beautiful color on there and then let it go for about another minute minute and a half and on the other side and then immediately take it out of the pan because you don't want to overcook the shrimp we're not looking for rubber bands we're looking for delicious seafood so once it's ready two minutes in go ahead and place that out or take it out and then we're going to go ahead and work on our sauce now you could call this the alfredo sauce um but i'm calling it a a marinade sauce or a cream sauce with cheese um but uh, you could call it alfredo sauce but it's it's not a traditional alfredo sauce at any any point of it uh, so i just went on ahead and deglazed my shrimp pan with the uh, heavy cream and that's heavy whipping cream and then i'm going ahead and mixing all that up and just scraping the bottom because i want to get that good fun off the pan that um, was left by the shrimp uh, that's the first sign of flavor and then we're gonna go in with some better than bouillon just to give it a more well-rounded flavor um, now if you're doing this for pescatarians omit that but you could use better than bouillon vegetable um, base but do not put the chicken base in there if you're doing this for pescatarians um, but we got the vegetable I mean the chicken base in there and then we're gonna go ahead and season this up we got some granulated garlic you know my little trinity we got some granulated onion delicious and then you know we got to finish with the slap your mama like i said this is slap your mama seafood pasta so go ahead and finish it with the slap your mama and that is our um base to our marnay sauce or our um cream cheese cream sauce all right so we're going to go ahead and mix that up well um make sure you just mix it up well and also taste because you you want to kind of watch it because slap your mama could um get a little salty so just watch how you season it but always taste it uh, if you need more add more if you need less um add less um but once we get to this part we're gonna go ahead and kind of um bring some herbs into the mix so we gotta add in some italian seasoning now you can't omit this part but the italian seasoning just give you that that alfredo feel that i was telling you about earlier like i said it's not traditional alfredo and people get mad when you call certain things things it's not so you can call it alfredo but that that italian season to give you that alfredo type feel and then we're going to go ahead and finish with a little parsley 
um, and that was like a tablespoon of parsley. And like I said, with the seasonings, it's up to you how you season it. Um, you can add more, add less. It's pretty much up to you. And then we're going to finish with some good quality Parmesan. I know with the lights on, you couldn't really see uh, the white parm going into the white sauce. But we finished with a cup and a half of Parmesan cheese. All right, so we got our salmon. Look at that. Salmon look beautiful. Like I said, we let it go into the oven until it was cooked um, to perfection at 400 degrees. And then our lobster is done. Like I said, we just steeped it. And that butter fondue, we're pulling it out. And then we're going to let it set for a while. And then we're going to go ahead and slice it. Um, the lobster is cooked perfectly. No pink in the inside. It's perfectly cooked. And it's tender. It's not tough. So that's what you call delicious, great lobster. So um, use that little technique. Just put it in the butter fondue and kill that heat. All right. So now we're going in with our uh, linguine. Now you could use fettuccine, but linguine is like my favorite pasta of all time. Um, not because of the move ratatouille either, but because it's delicious and I like the texture of it. But we're going to go in with our linguine. And we just cooked that to um, to the, whatever the box is. We just went a minute under because we wanted it to be al dente. So whatever the box recommend, that's what you cook the pasta to. All right, so we got our linguine mixed into our sauce. Then we're going in with our shrimp. We're going to mix that shrimp up. And the shrimp gonna have a little sauce in there, so add that to the pasta as well. Like I said, it's all flavor. And once you get that shrimp added into there, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna add that lobster next. Um, and we're gonna mix that in there. Um, oh my goodness, like this pasta is so incredible. Like I'm telling you, like, oh man, yeah, this pasta is so good, you're gonna slap your mama for real, for real. All right, so we're going in with our lobster, we're gonna mix that up. Look at that so beautiful man and so tasty like we didn't even have to plate this up and i just went ahead and finished it in the uh, saucepan or in the saute skillet because it was just perfect all right so next we're gonna finish with a little slap your mama because like i said this is slap your mama seafood pasta so it can't be slap your mama if we don't incorporate slap your mama in every step all right so after the slap your mama we're going on with our salmon which is cooked perfectly like this stuff is flaky oh my goodness Perfect, succulent, not dry, delicious. All right, and then we're finishing with some parsley, man, and there you have it, man. The most incredible, incredible seafood pasta or slap your mama seafood pasta, man. Um, this pasta dish is so incredible. Like seafood was all fresh. We got it from a good spot here in the city. Um, like I said, make sure you get fresh seafood for this dish, man. And you see the little lobster pieces poking out the little shrimp on the side and then you see the big pieces of salmon on top and that scottish salmon if you never had scottish salmon it's really delicious um it's almost um it's salmon but it doesn't have a fishy taste to it at all like it's delicious but there you have it man the most incredible slap your mama seafood pasta i'm just giving y'all all, all kind of angles man because this thing was so um, it's fun making it, but the flavors and everything was just so spot on. Um, the sauce was incredibly um, rich. It wasn't clumpy. It was smooth. Like, man, this is like fantastic. If I can kiss my fingers, let's, let's go ahead and kiss them fingers, man, because we did our thing with this. Like, this thing is truly amazing when I tell you. Um, but yeah, I'm a... Um, do more more seafood for the channel because seafood is very precise when we're cooking it. And we're going to get into some real seafood cooking uh, later. But there you have it, man. Slap your mama seafood pasta. Thank you guys for checking this video out. Like, comment, share, subscribe, man. The most incredible. Slap your mama seafood pasta from the bistro. I'm out.